Okay, so. Um, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, a couple things we need to know about this problem. Uh, when we're looking at this problem, uh, we have sine is 3 over 5, right? Now, usually, we could evaluate for that if we knew where it was on the unit circle. However, 3 fifths is not going to be on the unit circle. But what I need to do is I need to understand what, is, what can my 3 over 5 represent. And if I was going to, let's say, draw a triangle, okay, we need to first remember what does you know, <coughs> sine represent. Remember, sine, sine represents in a right triangle, or yeah, even in a right triangle, remember sine, let's say here's my theta. Sine represents your opposite over your hypotenuse. Right? Your opposite over your hypotenuse. Also, we also talked about sine represents really our y over our r, where r was our kind of radius or our hypotenuse. And um, our y was really like the height. So if I say sine is 3 fifths, there's really two triangles I can create. I could say that's 3 and that's 5, right? Where my x is negative. Or I could also say I could have a point sine 5 or sine it would be like this, right? Because let's say my two angles, theta is right here and right here, right? Would my sine still be 3 fifths? Yes. What is sine? Opposite over hypotenuse, right? Or the y over the radian, y over the hypotenuse. So the sine of this theta is three fifths. The sine of this theta is three fifths. Does everybody see how I have two triangles that make a sine three fifths, right? It can't be down here because then that would be a negative three, right? Okay. So I have two possible triangles for my answer. Well, that's when we look into our. Um, that's when we look into our constraint. So here our constraint is, it ha our, a our triangle, or our angle theta, so right, I have two different thetas. Our angle theta has to be between pi over two and pi. And I think, well, what is, where's pi over two and pi? If you remember our unit circle, right? If we go zero, and then half, and all the way halfway around is pi. Well, half of that is pi over two, and then this was three pi over two. So it says our angle theta has to be between pi over 2 and pi. Okay, so which theta is in this quadrant? Obviously this one, right? So this is the triangle, triangle they want us to look at. So I'm going to just erase this. So what they're asking for is they want us to find the tangent. Well, what is your tangent? Remember, tangent is going to be your, so let's rewrite what our triangle looks like. So our triangle looks like this, where this is your hypotenuse, your opposite, and this is our adjacent side. So remember, tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent, or our y over our x. And our secant is, remember, 1 over cosine, where cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So now it's um, adjacent over hypotenuse, so now it's going to be your um, your R over your X, which is the difference. Here, I'll just, <laughs> my bad. I'll just write it like, um, yeah, remember cosine is X over R, so the reciprocal of that is going to be R over X. Okay, that's where you guys get that. Where remember R is your hypotenuse. Those are the same thing, okay? So now, if you guys notice, we know what our y value is, and we know what our hypotenuse is, but we don't know what the x value is. So to find the x value, we have to do the lovely Pythagorean theorem. So we have five, um, five squared equals three squared plus x squared. So we have 25 equals nine plus x squared minus nine. You get 16 equals x squared. Take the root. And we're going to say x equals negative 4. Why is it going to be negative 4? Because look, at, we know it's in the negative direction, right? If it was over in this direction, it would be positive. This direction, it's a negative 4. Okay? So now, to find the tangent of theta, my tangent of theta is my y, which is 3, over my x. 
So it'd be 3 over negative 4. To find my secant of theta, remember cosine would be my x over my radius, but we're talking about the reciprocal of cosine, which is now going to be my hypotenuse over my adjacent. So that's just going to be 5 over negative 4. Yeah, but when you get a lot of practice, it goes back quicker. Oh. Any questions on this, though?